when you're walking into your doctor's office, you're not thinking of what EDI is doing, but on the back end, EDI is in motion. So you walk in, you have your appointment, you see your doctor, your doctor gives you uh, some type of checkup, maybe they give you some medications that need to be filled, those type of things. Um, you then leave your doctor's office after maybe you've paid a copay, you know, whatever that may be, to your physician and you're done, okay? So that local physician, if it's a local physician's office that's an independent where they're maybe a part of a larger conglomerate, um, they're filling out information, typing in your name, what health insurance you have, all those different types of information based on you into a system. That system in the back end is generating a 270 document, which is an inquiry transaction, and that goes to a clearinghouse in most instances. That clearinghouse then takes and sends a 270 transaction to each payer. So you know how if you have insurance, some people have one insurance, some people have one insurance and then a backup insurance, all those different things. So it's the job of the clearinghouse to say, okay, let's split this up. Let's get this to this insurance provider for this one and this insurance provider for this one. And then in return, they then, if there's something wrong or right or whatever, their response is that 271, which is their response transaction to the initial claim. After they've done that, maybe they had to correct some things. So they're gonna correct some things. They're gonna send resend a 270. That 270 is hopefully gonna get cleared. There's gonna be no issues. Then it moves on to actual payments. Um, so this is where you need to try to follow it in your head that all you did was walked into your doctor's office, walk back out of your doctor's office, and that's all you can think of. And that's all you had to think of at that point in time. But there's other things that are occurring and there's other things that are happening in the back end. Um, like I said, 270, 271, eligibility and benefit inquiry and their response. The next thing that can be done is if your doctor is looking for, hey, listen, I want to know where's my payment. Well, you can send in a 276, which is a claim status inquiry. So it's basically saying to the payer, hey, what are you doing with this stuff? The 277 then comes back from them saying, here's our response to what we have there. Um, you might have it. Like I said, you might have an authorization referral request that's a part of that, a 278. Uh, you might have a 278i, which is a prior authorization with notification of inquiry. So remember how your doctor sometimes says, hey, in order for you to do this, you need to get prior authorization. Well, guess what? There's an electronic document for that. Or they may say, listen, there's you're being brought in, you're being taken in by the hospital. Guess what happens on the back end? 278n for the hospital admission notification. So these are all to keep your insurances up to date with what's going on with you. Then you can have an 837, which is dealing with your uh, either D for dental claims, I for institutional claim, P for professional claim or vision claim. So again, remember, these are the documents that are happening on the back end when you think you're just walking in and walking back out. Um, we can give you more explicit details. We can go into those documents. We can give you benefits of why the what happens with that. It's for user errors, faster payments, uh, administrative duties, all of those things. So EDI in healthcare is really to help the process of getting everybody paid faster, easier. Um, in the healthcare industry, you can have different uh, styles or standards of EDI, you can have uh, ANSI X12, HL7s, you can have XML, you can have the different things that are going across the board there. But a lot of times people are dealing in the EDI ANSI X12 um, or HL7. So uh, today, just to keep things easy, think of it this way, we're gonna go through these documents as to what they are in an EDI ANSI X12. Um, as in anything with EDI and CX12, we're going to be talking in numbers and what those numbers represent. So you have a 270, which is an eligibility and benefit inquiry. Then you have a 271, which is a response to that inquiry. 
you have a 276, which is a claim status inquiry, and then a 277, which is a claim status response. You have an authorization or 278, sorry, and a, which is an authorization and referral request. You have a 278I, which is a prior authorization and notification inquiry. You then have a 278N, which is a hospital admission notification. 835, which is electronic remittance advice. 837D, which is a dental claim. 837I, which is an institutional claim. 837P, which is a professional claim or otherwise known as a vision claim. So in a typical scenario, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a, think of it this way, when you and to reduce errors. Any questions, reach out to me, Jim Gonzalez, EDI support. We're here to help you out whenever needed.